Relief Well Operations and Planning in Oil and Gas A relief well is a directionally drilled offset well bore whose purpose is to intersect a well that has blown out to control it. The Killing Requirements study describes the primary kill method, including the number of relief wells required. Environmental risk assessment, including shallow gas assessment, seasonal constraints for relief well drilling, spill heat radiation, and noise profiles. Remember, you should have a minimum of two suitable drilling rig locations for two relief wells. If simulations show the need for two relief wells, then a minimum of three relief well locations should be in place. Directional relief well plans, including position uncertainty analysis of both target well and relief wells. Relief well drilling equipment and services available for onshore or offshore operations via call-off drilling contract. Overview of the suitable drilling rig types for the relief well. A relief well plan aims to deliver high-density kill fluid at high rates into the target well after the intersection between the relief well and the blowout. After performing relief well kill modeling and determining the kill rate for a specific relief well, we should be able to specify the selected kill procedure. In the case of an existing well, we will use the most recent known reservoir conditions to estimate the kill requirements. A simplistic but feasible relief well plan should be sufficient for the order of magnitude estimation of kill requirements, such as kill fluid weight, kill rate, total volume, and pump hydraulic power. Determining kill fluids shall be by their density and viscosity. It would help to consider the above scenarios to generate the optimal solution and minimize operational hazards and risks while aiming for the lowest feasible kill rate. Considering the following scenarios are necessary to select an initial optimum intersection depth for kill rate modeling. Off-bottom kills, below intermediate casing, requiring perforating or milling. Formation rock strength around the deepest casing with sufficient rock strength to avoid any losses during the blowout well kill. Note, plan for an O section of the intercept well that is one size larger than the target well bore to increase the probability. Drilling from the last casing should be done with the smallest or drill string and BHA components, as can be accommodated without negatively affecting the reliability of precise directional control. The drilling engineers should consider planning for setting an additional contingency liner between the last casing shoe before the interception. At the same time, if this is not feasible, you should consider upscaling the well plan with one casing size. The normal plan was to drill into the zone produced in the blowout, manifold all pumps we could gather, and pump like hell. Surface well heads, 1,500 feet. 457 meters, lateral distance at the surface between the blowout well and relief well in upwind direction relative to the blowout well. Subsea well heads, 2,500 feet, 762 meters, lateral distance at seabed between blowout and relief well in upwind and up current direction relative to the blowout well. Where the kill fluid required is only available in limited volumes, a two-stage dynamic kill consisting of a lightweight kill fluid stage followed by a stage static kill weight fluid. If local depletion effects are significant, it may be necessary to kill the well with lighter fluid and displace this fluid with heavier fluid in several stages. For the target, it shall intersect depth at the deepest casing shoe, assuming the setting of the shoe will be near the base of the cap rock. Call off blowout services from third party companies and obtain blowout engineering and relief well drilling support. Obtaining the required mud pump capacity, pressure, and rate with adequate redundancy. High rate transfer of kill fluid to the high pressure pumping system. The well spot measures distance and direction from positions along a borehole to the steel casing or drill string in a second borehole. The directional driller uses this information to adjust the trajectory of the relief well at frequent intervals during drilling to achieve the desired proximity or intersection with the target well. You can read the full article in our website www.drillingmanual.com Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.